Welcome to this ASP.NET Core Scheduler tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to drag and drop events from an external source into the SyncFusion ASP.NET Core Scheduler control. Look at this demo. I can drag an item from the TreeView control to the scheduler and create an event using the TreeView's node drag stop event. First, I open my existing ASP.NET Core application where I've added the basic code to render the scheduler control. To learn how to integrate the scheduler control into an ASP.NET Core application, check out the Getting Started video linked in the card above and the description below. I run this application by pressing the F5 key. See, the scheduler control is rendered with the provided appointments. As I said before, I am going to show you the steps to drag and drop an item from the tree view into the scheduler. First, I add the ASP.NET Core Tree View control with a few basic properties. To learn how to integrate the Tree View control into an ASP.NET Core web application, refer to the Getting Started documentation linked in the description below. Checking now, the Tree View is rendered on the right side of the scheduler with the provided node items. Let me show you how to enable the drag and drop feature in the Tree View control. To do that, I enable the Allow Drag and Drop property. To specify the target area to drop the Tree View node, I assign this wrapper element class name to the Drag Area property. Checking now, I can drag a node on the scheduler, but events have not been added. I'll proceed by adding the drag and drop logic to create the events using the tree view node. First, I add the node drag stop event, which will be triggered each time the tree view node is dragged, and assign the callback method on drag stop. I add the script element. Define the on drag stop method here and declare a variable to store the closest scheduler element. I use the namespace syncfusion ej2 to access the closest method and assign the closest scheduler element that contains the class EconTentWrap. This is the built-in class name assigned to the wrapper element in the scheduler. Then I add an if condition to check whether this scheduler element is not null and the event target is a tree view node to proceed further. I declare another variable to retrieve the data bound to the tree view fields property. To access the tree view data source, I create an instance for the tree view control using the get element by id method. Using the tree view instance, I access the data bound to the fields property. Here I need to retrieve two details, the node dragged into the scheduler and the cell to which the node is dropped. I declare the variable filtered data and filter the dragged node data from the tree view data source. Next, to access the scheduler cell details, I create a scheduler instance using the controls ID. Then I declare another variable, cell data. Using the scheduler instance, I call the getCellDetails method and pass the event target. Now I need to construct the data based on the received details. So I declare another variable, event data, and assign a value for the ID using the getEventMaxID method. Next, assign the data collected from the drag node to the subject description and department name fields. Then, assign cell data for the start time and end time fields. Now, I call the add event method using the scheduler instance and pass this event data. In the style element, I define the styles such as padding and background color to align the drag text and hide the icon in the node while dragging. When I drag a node and drop it on the scheduler cell, it will be set as an appointment, but the tree view here is not updated.
So I declare a variable updated list and filter the tree view data to remove the dragged item. Then assign this updated list to the tree view data source. See now when dropping the node, the tree view gets updated. If you want to open the editor window with the dragged item, just replace the add event method with the open editor method. I pass the arguments event data and action type as add, and the Boolean value as true to indicate the event data. When I drop a node, the editor window will open with the dragged node details. If you need a modification, do it and save. In this video, I showed you how to drag and drop events from an external source into the ASP.NET Core Scheduler control. You can download a working example from the GitHub link in the description below. You can also see if you're eligible for our community license, which will get you a free license key to use our products. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please like it and subscribe to our channel.